This is the final battle. With you at my side, we will demolish the deep state. We will expel the warmongers from our government. We will drive out the globalists. We will cast out the communists, Marxists, and fascists. We will throw off the sick political class that hates our country. We will rout the fake news media, and we will liberate America from these villains once and for all. If you're listening by way of podcast there, that was the Japanese General Yamamoto after Pearl Harbor saying, all I fear here is that what we've done is awaken a sleeping giant and fill him with a terrible Resolve, And of course, we had a, a Democrat donkey over his face and then Biden sitting there as the emperor as a clueless idiot. That, my friends, is exactly what happened last night. Last night. Was Red America's Pearl Harbor. May 30th, 2024 is indeed a day that will live in infamy. But make no mistake. It was also the day that awakened a sleeping giant and filled him with a terrible resolve. Gang, as you know, we look out for each other on this channel. Your safety and your security are our number one priority. So if you haven't secured the deed to your home as of yet, you need to click on that link below right now and protect yourself and your loved ones. I was absolutely shocked when I found out how easy it is to access the deed to my house and not just access it, but actually change it. The deed to your home is the only document that proves you own it. But the problem is that all our deeds are now online and criminals are free to find your deed, forge your signature, refile as the new homeowner, take out tons of loans using your home's equity, and then they stick you with all the debt. But that's where our good friends over at Home Title Lock come in, gang. They're simply amazing. Home Title Lock gives you the peace of mind that the deed to your home is absolutely and completely protected 24 Seven. Click on that link below right now. Use promo code TURLYTALKS. And all you got to do is enter your address for your no obligation home title scan to see if you've already been a victim of deed theft. It's a $100 value, absolutely, totally free with my promo code TURLYTALKS. Gang, don't wait for the worst to happen only to regret you didn't do something about it when you could have. Do what I've done. Do what countless patriots have done. Click on that link below right now and secure your home today. Something astonishing happened last night. Something absolutely astonishing. As the shock of the brazenness, the, the literal left-wing bloodlust brazenness of those verdicts began to dissipate. A very clear, discernible pattern began to emerge all over social media. And in many respects, as I'll show you, all over the world. Within mere minutes after the verdict, that venomous verdict, we got reports of every one of Trump's fundraising sites crashing. Because so many people visited them to give them money. We've actually never seen it before. We've never seen anything like this. We've never seen a candidate's multiple fundraising sites all crash. And we now know why. Within minutes of that Vile, venomous verdict. The number one trending search request on Google was how to donate to Trump. How to donate to Trump was the number one search request on what is by far the largest search engine site on the planet. 
We are now getting reports that Trump hauled in $39 million in 10 hours, 30% of which were first-time donors. If confirmed, that will have shattered every single political fundraising record on the planet. Among those donating to Trump was a fellow by the name of Sean McGuire. Sean is a Silicon Valley millionaire who is also a self-professed liberal. He voted for Hillary in 2016. He, uh, he didn't vote in 2020. He frankly didn't like either candidate. And he wasn't alone. A number of people sat out of 2020 who are now coming back. Welcome to the party, pal. And look at this. He publicly announced within literally minutes of that verdict that he had just donated $300,000 to the Trump campaign and has now publicly declared his total and complete support for Trump in November as a much-deserved backlash against this travesty of justice and this affront against democracy. And he was hardly the only liberal to come forward. Beers Morgan, of all people, tweeted out that this verdict was not just a travesty of justice, but that it would propel propel Trump back into the White House. The actor Michael Rapoport, who, as many of you know, was an absolute rabid, rabid anti-Trumper. I mean, we're talking a grotesque anti-Trumper. He is now saying Trump is going to win in a landslide in 2024, and you could put money on that. Rap- Rappaport is proof that there is such a thing as a cure, an antidote for TDS, Trump derangement syndrome. And RFK Jr. has come out and publicly denounced this travesty. He tweeted out, quote, this will backfire in November. Even worse, it's a profoundly undemocratic act. America deserves a president who can win at the ballot box without compromising our government's separation of powers or weaponizing the courts. You can't save democracy by destroying it. Even international leaders came out in support of President Trump. One after the other after the other. Former Deputy Prime Minister of Italy, Matteo Savini, tweeted out, quote, solidarity and full support for Donald Trump victim of judicial harassment and a process of political nature. In Italy, we are sadly sadly familiar with the weaponization of the justice system by the left. Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban, let the people make their verdict this November. Keep fighting, Mr. President. UK Brexit leader Nigel Farage, the verdict is a disgrace. And even... Even Kremlin spokesperson Dmitry Peskov wrote, there is simply the elimination, in effect, of political rivals by all possible means, legal and illegal. (laughs) That doesn't take the cake. That's awesome. What we're seeing here is something, frankly, astonishing. We are seeing... Nothing short of the awakening of a sleeping giant. An awakened giant filled with a terrible resolve. And I think those are the two frames of reference to help us understand, to sort of organize and unpack what's really going on over these last epic 24 hours here. A sleeping giant awakened, number one, and number two, awakened with a terrible resolve. So let's start with that sleeping giant awakening. We the people, 
today are more united than we have ever been before. And I'm just going to say it right now. It is an honor. It is an honor to be in this fight with you as your Patriot professor. I have never felt more of a love and solidarity with you than I do right now. We, the people, are today more united than we have ever been before. All the studies show that. For example, we today are more anti-war than we have ever been, even during the height of the Vietnam era. We together are more anti-war than we have ever been. And yet you'll notice our permanent political class, our ruling elite, are absolutely obsessed at the same time with going to war. War with Russia, war with China, war with Iran. We, the people, have never been more anti-war than we are right now, while at the same time our elite have never been more pro-war. We, the people, have never been less racist than we are right now. Virtually every single study out there shows that racism has plummeted in our nation. You take any racial indicator, such as do you support interracial marriage in the 1950s, every study found 90% of the public said, uh, no, I don't support interracial marriage. Today, 90% have no problem with it. If you had asked in the 1950s, would you, would you work for somebody of a different ethnicity? About 90% said I'd be very uncomfortable with it. Today, 95% don't care. Every racial indicator you can find shows that racism in our nation has plummeted. We have never been less racist than we have ever been. And yet, our permanent political class and our legacy media are obsessed with lecturing us and accusing us of racism. We, the people, are together more united than we have ever been before. And so our ruling elite are doing everything they possibly can to divide us. We are living in a time when, in many respects, the people have never been more united. And at the same time, we have never been more united in our disgust and disdain for the permanent political class than we are right now. The latest Gallup survey found that trust in our nation's fundamental institutions across the board. Make sure you write this down because this is going to come back later. It's going to be huge for understanding what happened the last 20, 24 hours. The latest Gallup survey has found that trust in our nation's fundamental institutions across the board has absolutely plummeted. We're talking trust in our federal government, trust in our legacy news media, trust in law enforcement, trust in election integrity, and trust in our judicial system. We have never been more alienated from our permanent political class and the institutions that they rule than we are right now. Study after study after study shows, particularly the 2010 study at the, the Tea Party movement by Doug Schoen and Scott Rasmussen since 2010, study after study shows that a populist volcanic eruption is indeed in the making. A populist backlash by the peoples and the works the likes of which we have never seen. And who, more than anyone else, who has positioned himself politically as the champion of the people? It's none other than Donald J. Trump. This is why we're seeing two dynamics rise up in, uh, right in front of our very eyes. The people are more united than ever before. And Trump is more popular than he has ever been. Those two dynamics go hand in hand. The people are the most united we've ever been. And Trump, the representative of those people, is now more popular today than he's ever been. Even the never Trumpers at National Review 
have had enough. Even they are coming out now on the side of Donald Trump. According to Nate Silver's Project 538, if the election were held today, Trump would crush Biden with 312 electoral votes, eight more than he got in 2016. And 2016 was the most any Republican had gotten since 1988. Biden is outspending Trump four to one. And yet Trump's polls keep going up while Biden's continue to crash. And we've talked precisely about why that is. But again, I want to underscore precisely this interplay between these two dynamics, which you want to get right? This sleeping giant awakening. We, the people are more united than ever before. And Trump is more popular than ever before. These two dynamics are inextricably linked. And the irony as to why that is, is going to absolutely blow your mind. 